It's another beautiful day in Hawaii. So on our list of things to do for the coffee shop is to create a sign, fly October 1st. So Mark has been working on this little project for some time now. And we decided that we wanted to do it by October 1st so that we could essentially track to see if, if there was any more business at the coffee shop. Probably a good three months, I'd say, at least three months ago, I printed out one of these signs. So we created the design element. We wanted it to really stand out but still have some kind of rustic feel to it. I had it printed on some sort of like poly plastic so that it's weatherproof and I uh, still wanted to, like I said, make it look rustic. And then Mark went ahead and got some reclaimed wood, made a frame, and glued the frame on. So I'm really excited. Oh, and of course I cannot disclude Aaron. He helped us um, plane the wood. Oh. Some nails okay. So just a side note here, it's about to get loud. <laughs> And the reason why we made two signs is because it's going to make an A-frame. So these two signs are going to go together. Yeah, that's a little too tall. It just looks awkward with the leg that long. Yeah, that looks good. Just a little bit. Yes, exactly. So it doesn't look ridiculous. So while Mark continues to work on the sign project, I'm going to head out, go uh, consume my day with attempting to get another quote for the Coke can. It's more like a Diet Coke can. It's kind of a crappy day in Hawaii. Headed to a place called Wahiwa. We have a friend who owns a body shop. He's actually the guy that did the paint job on the Westie. I, I know what this looks like. I know what you're thinking. You think that this is actually yesterday because I'm wearing the exact same clothes. Everything looks exactly the same. Rest assured, it really is Thursday. And it's raining, and it is a different day. So now I'm headed in the Diet Coke can, the Smash Diet Coke can, the Prius, because I need to get more than one quote. So suddenly this process that wasn't so painless is starting to hurt. So if you've ever been to the island of Oahu, chances are good you went to the South Shore, Waikiki, you flew into Honolulu. You may or may not have been to this place, this in-between town. It's called Wahiwa. It's not a destination. People don't come here to uh, vacation and enjoy themselves. There's a couple places to grab some food, but yeah, Wahiwa is one of those places that you go to pass through. Fan is too loud. I love it when there's nobody in the spin room. Nobody in front of you grunting or being weird. It's the best. So I went over to our friend Damon's body shop in Wahiwa and He's writing up a quote for me right now as we speak. You know when you're working out and you think about a lot of things, obviously when you're doing cardio, you have tons of time to think of stuff. I was just thinking about my goals. And one of those things that I'd like to be in my life is more consistent. Let's just say I'm not consistent about a lot of things. Hence the reason why I didn't blog for six weeks straight. And I kind of dropped off the face of my workout program. I stopped doing my run swim, all the things I said I was gonna do. So, the more I say it, the more I have to be accountable. You know, being a mom, that takes away a lot of time. Working, having a career, takes away a lot of time. Fitting in time and making time for oneself, especially one's fitness, for me, is paramount. However, sometimes I just let it completely go. And then I get so bummed on myself. If you're a working parent who likes to work out or wants to stay fit, you know what I'm talking about. Between 
getting the kid to school, the short amount of time you have while they're at school, and then debating on whether or not you want to get work done or get your workout in while they're at school, that's pretty much what your choices are. Out of the seven days, only five of those days the kids are in school. And then if your school's like my kid's school, Wednesday's a half day, and it's always a debate. Do I get work done? How important is that work to get done? Or do I get a workout in? And if you're anything like me, I live on the North Shore and I have some amazing options to get my fitness in. There goes my camera. All I'm gonna say is that I'm going around a windy road and that's why the camera keeps going. <laughs> Terrible place to, to be having this rant on a windy road. But back to what I was saying, there's just so little time to prioritize fitness versus getting stuff done. It's a goal for me to prioritize getting my workouts in no matter what. Well, looks like Mark has been up to stuff. Oh, look at the sign. Wow, look at that sign. That looks awesome. This is exciting, Kern. So here we are. Completed project, the Bruin Foam sign by Mark. Got really good coffee served here, right here. Look at that, this thing is, oh, oh my God. Yeah, no one's gonna steal that thing. Weighs about 600 pounds, thumbs up. So uh, October 1st, we'll go ahead and put that in front of the, Sunday. on Sunday? October yeah, on, uh, on Sunday. You wanna work out? Lift that sign 10 times. That thing is beefy. How do you think it's gonna hold up in the weather? <laughs> I mean, we could throw some of that polyurethane on there. What do you think? I mean, I like the weathered look, I you know? Too. So I say we leave it weathered. Okay. Yeah. Um,